grilled tuna melt, anybody? Well, today I'm making one with sourdough bread and we're gonna dress up our tuna to bring out its flavor but not disguise it. I'm gonna be adding some celery and onion and a few other little goodies. And we're gonna top it with a cheddar cheese to kind of give it some contrast. And we're gonna grill it in butter and I'm telling you, I call that the perfect tuna melt. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. Okay guys, let's go over our ingredients. First off, we're gonna need some butter. Mine is from grass-fed cows. I usually try and use that. It tastes great and it's, uh, I think, better for you. All right, I've got my uh, sourdough French bread, which I think goes perfect with this sandwich. I, that's my number one choice on breads. I have some green onion, which I'm gonna chop up, as well as some fresh parsley. Now for our tuna. Now I have a can here of what's called skipjack tuna. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but it is a smaller type of tuna. And I chose that because the smaller tunas have less mercury. So albacore, which is what we you know, mostly see in the stores, is a very large fish and it has the most mercury in it. So if you're concerned about that at all, I know we don't want to eat you know, tuna all the time, but once in a while. Um, so I go with the skipjack. So I just wanted to let you know about that. All right, we'll also need some uh, finely diced celery, some fresh lemon juice, some salt, garlic powder, and some cheddar cheese. Now I'm using a medium sharp, and we'll also need some mayonnaise. First thing I'm gonna do is cut up the onions. I'm just gonna cut off a little tip of the green onion and just thinly slice this. We're gonna place this right into our bowl. We're gonna chop up our parsley. Get that in the bowl. All right, guys, so next goes the skipjack tuna. So I'm just gonna to toss that in the bowl. We'll toss in the celery. Now put in the amount you think you want. And we'll go with some mayo. Again, you're gonna put as much as you want it moist. All right, so probably a couple, a good couple of tablespoons. We'll start with that. It's time for a little lemon juice. So I'm just gonna squeeze some of this right in there. Probably a teaspoon's worth. We're gonna do a little pinch of salt. And my little secret ingredient here is some garlic powder. These are granules. And we'll just blend all that up and see if it's moist enough. I might wanna add a little more mayo or not. Just depends on how you like it. All right, it's time to put our sandwich together. Time for the cheese. And now we gotta head on over to the grill. All right guys, we're ready to grill up our, our sandwich. And I just wanted to show you my new grill pan here. I love this thing, it's cast iron. And I really like how it cooks up all my foods. All right, so I'm gonna put a little butter here on the bottom because you gotta have butter on this sandwich. So I'll place it right there in the grill. I'm gonna put some on top, but it'll probably stick to the lid I'm gonna put on here, but that's okay. We can deal with it. We'll just cover that up. I've got it on low heat, and we're just gonna let it grill up and melt that cheese and warm up that tuna, and it's gonna be good. All right, guys, let's take a peek, see what's going on here. All right, we're gonna turn this little puppy over. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Cover it another minute, it should be done. All right guys, I think we've got this perfectly golden brown, looks beautiful. It's time to serve it up. All right guys, I'm gonna cut this sandwich up. I want you to see how beautiful this is. Let's see if I can cut into it without squishing everything out. All right, guys, I hope you'll try the sandwich. I'm gonna take a bite. This, this thing is just, I know it's phenomenally good. I love it. It's, uh. What a delicious sandwich, guys. That is really good. I can taste the hint of garlic. The tuna fish comes through 
it's got a nice tuna flavor, but we got a little bit of salt in there, kind of really brings it up. We've got the, the lemon that just brightens up the flavor. You know, we got the parsley, the celery gives a nice little crunch, the onions, of course, all those flavors just permeate throughout it. And the cheese, perfect, guys. And grill it up on sourdough with some butter. You can't go wrong. So guys, I hope you'll try this recipe. If you liked it, please share it. Give me a comment, you know, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, of course, click the button up there and you'll be notified every week when a new video comes out. So thanks again, everybody. We'll see you next time. I'm gonna go eat my sandwich. It's delicious.